today here is all about soccer. And um, Victoria is above the participation rate. We're above the national average. And a big reason for that is the absolute boom in soccer. Um, it is going nuts and has been for a few years. Um, the success of the Socceroos, the success of the Matildas, uh, two World Cups in a row, um, the success of Melbourne Victory in the A-League um, really has seen participation rates just go through the roof and it's been, it's been a struggle for local government and state government to keep up with the demand. And I know that's been an issue for the Trafalgar Victory Soccer Club, um, a huge increase in participation, um, doing the best you can at the, um, at the high school site um, and it's been a struggle and you don't have the change rooms, you don't have enough pitches that you need and, um, and I know that we need to meet that demand. So, it gives me particular pride um, and, and thanks to um, the advocacy of both Matt and Gary, it um, gives me absolute pleasure to announce that the Brumby Government will be investing uh, 400,000, just over 400,000 to a new soccer development here in Trafalgar. So congratulations everyone. stunning environment, um, two drought resistant, uh, so drought resistant turf soccer pitches. Um, in addition to that, um, the new pitches will come with lighting, so not only will they be drought resistant, but with the lighting means you can really boost up the participation in terms of the hours of use for both of those pitches, um, and it will include water saving initiatives, irrigation, and to go along with the drought resistant turf. Now we're doing this for, for a couple of reasons and I mentioned this at, at, at Moe. Um, for me, it's all about uh, participation and pathways for the Victorian government, the local government. It's about increasing participation, get, get more kids, but also right through the ages, get more people participating in sport and recreation. It means the kids here will stay active, it means the, uh, the older people in the community will get, more, uh, will get more active. But it's also about pathways. And uh, I mentioned Melbourne Victory, mentioned the Matildas and the Socceroos. Um, every elite player starts off playing their sport in their local community. So it's really incumbent upon governments, both state and local, to provide facilities where people live. So some stars who are sitting before us might one day get to play at the elite level. Um, the other thing I always mention are these, these are partnerships. Uh, there is not one local project that I announce which hasn't been a fantastic partnership with a community, with local government, occasionally with the federal government, occasionally with business. It's all about partnerships. And I want to um, especially thank Global uh, Shire Council for their contribution, not only of $400,000, but also securing the land. Um, we're really moving towards having many sports in the one precinct. It makes it easier for the mums and dads. It's better for the kids. They get a taste of different sports. Um, but to secure more than 60 odd acres, is that 67, 67 acres, um, really is an investment for not only this generation, but generations down the track. So well done to the Shire, to uh, Trafalgar Victory Soccer Club, um, $5,000 uh, contribution to this stage, and I know that it will be an ongoing effort to support this uh, this development. Um, this whole precinct will be a benefit not just for the victory but also for the Trafalgar Junior Netball Club, the Footy Netball Club, the Cricket Club, the Boxing Club, the Pony Club, the Polo Cross Club. So it's a great incentive for uh, everyone involved and I know that there's a lot of uh, residential development. Um, Trafalgar is going to grow over, over, the next, uh, over the next decade or so and it's important that we make these investments. So once again, can I thank you all? It's an absolute pleasure to be here to announce the 400,000 for the Rami government and uh, best wishes to